The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. A special hello goes out this evening to all my new friends. The fifth graders at Bonsack Elementary School in Roanoke County had a great time visiting with you today, talking about severe weather safety. Thank you to Mrs. Stanley for the invitation, and I'll see you guys again real soon. All right, friends, let's head on over and show you our local view. It was beautiful outside at Bonsack Elementary School this afternoon, and it's beautiful outside right now at dinner time. Man, is it gorgeous out there. A beautiful sunset will happen for us here over the next couple of hours and simply put we just don't have a lot of cloud cover around but things will start to change for us here over the next 48 hours not tomorrow tomorrow looks very similar to today temperatures tomorrow very warm we're going to hold on to that sunshine for one more day on thursday however thursday night clouds thicken by 2 3 4 5 a.m on friday we're going to start to see some rain pushing in especially along and to the west of that i-77 corridor so our southwesternmost counties will likely be the wettest heading into late Thursday night. By Friday at 8 a.m., rain really starts to overspread a lot of the area. So we're going to have some scattered showers, a couple of thunderstorms as you head out the door Friday morning. The thing is, this is a relatively fast mover. We're still going to have some leftover showers around lunchtime on Friday, but the general trend will be for us to dry things out as we head into Friday afternoon. Doesn't mean we'll be completely dry even around dinner time on Friday, just maybe a couple of showers or thunder showers here or there. So the wettest part of Friday for us will be the morning hours and the afternoon may actually squeeze out a little bit of sunshine before the sun goes down. And as we take a look at that all important forecast for Saturday, we've got the spring game in Blacksburg and the forecast doesn't look bad. We're looking partly sunny. A rogue shower may be around on Saturday afternoon, but the vast majority of us on Saturday are dry. Temperatures at 3 p.m. in Blacksburg around 73, falling to near 70 by about 7. A better chance for showers and thunderstorms once again comes into play for us with this cold front right here heading into Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. Sunday may very well start out dry with some sunshine, but after about 2-3 o'clock on Sunday, spreading into the evening hours, we're going to have a much better chance for some passing showers and thunderstorms. So if you're going to the Martinsville race on Sunday, make sure you have your poncho with you because it may rain in Henry County as we head into, say, dinner time on Sunday. It's 81 right now in Lynchburg, 82 in Roanoke, upper 70s as we speak, Martinsville and Danville, a little bit cooler, Martinsville and Hot Springs. High temperatures as we go zone by zone for tomorrow, 79 in the NRV, 82 Covington, Clifton Forge, a little bit cooler up into Monterey and Hot Springs, 85 is your forecast high in the Roanoke, Lynchburg and South Side zones. For tonight, fair, pretty mild, overnight lows tonight, 40s to near 50 for the day tomorrow, hot. <laughs> At least I think it's going to be hot, especially for April standards, highs in the 70s and 80s, but we're going to hold on to that sunshine. Temperatures briefly go down 70 to 75 on Friday, and we're back up to near 80 Saturday, Sunday, cooling down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Again, looking at the weekend, Sunday afternoon looks wetter than, say, Saturday. We'll dry things out on Monday.